This video is going to cover days two and three. Yes. We're currently at the end of uh, day three. Yes. So it's going to be, I guess, a mix of both, both of those days, days yeah. of the things that, that we did. So, mm -hmm, right. Yeah. So yesterday was day two. We started out at 930. I went to another writing class. What did you do? Um, I think I went to another uh, YouTube mm, right, class yeah, yeah. or a video, uh, learning how to do video. Mm -hmm. And then I also went to a class uh, talking about uh, different ways to build a website uh, to tell the genealogy journey. So. Right. And um, we also went to the Coach's Corner, which right. yeah. is a little consultation with a professional genealogist. I was able to set up those appointments prior to us getting here. And so um, the first one I did, and it was um, for one of my relatives, and it was actually via um, video conference. So it wasn't a live genealogist with me. It was remote. He was actually in Wisconsin. Um, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to find out very much information during that consultation, but it was just neat to talk to somebody, like a professional, and do it. Right. Um, and then later in the day, we went back, and Philip had an appointment but it was with my ancestor um, and he she and this one was with an actual person here um, in Utah so she was able to walk through the records that I had um, and what I was looking for and she suggested that I go over to the family um, history library down the street and look up the Alabama marriage records so I could get a definitive date um, age on my ancestor um, so that that consultation was really good I thought yeah and you know I went into that thinking they were going to already have looked up the information me too, me too. and and give it to you you know what yeah. you asked for because I did the because I you did gave the them a week ago right but you gave them information, information of what I had of what you had and what you were looking for what I was looking for so I thought that they would do some pre-work right um, since I had to make my appointment in advance but they didn't, um, which is fine. I mean, it's, it yeah. was free. We didn't have to pay for it. So I, my expectation was pretty low anyway. Right. But the second consultation um, was very beneficial, and I really enjoyed And she gave me some very good in, information and advice on yeah. where I can go on my next steps. When you think about it, though, with all the people they have for four days coming through there, they can't possibly look up everything for everybody. Right. You know, and it was only 20 it. And I didn't minutes. think about that, you know, because... You know, I was just like, okay, they're going to give you the information you're looking yeah. for, but it wasn't. And they do it in 20-minute increments, okay. so imagine how many people they did in one day. Yeah, and they help you, they help, you, like, lead you down the right path. Where to go. And kind of help you and say, you know, you probably should look here. Your next if step you should haven't, be. Mm -hmm. You probably should go to this website or that website. Have you considered looking at this type of church record? Right, so just more information to kind of yeah kind of help guide you a little bit I thought is it was what really i would good. say yeah which is why they call it the coach's Co corner yeah. so so i would if i ever were to, to return or um if i knew somebody that was going i would definitely suggest that they go it's, i mean it's 20 minutes you don't have to pay for it i'm just a professional genealogist and you never know what they could offer you right so so what else did we do um i yeah. went to the relative race Oh booth. right, yeah, which is and I was able to time. yeah, and I was super excited. You can see the pictures um, on my blog. Um, I was super excited. They had the red car out there, and I was able to get into the car, and I could see how they had the cameras and stuff set up in the car. Um, and then I played one of the games that I didn't win, um, but it was really cool. Dan wasn't at the booth when I went by there, but um, I did go. They had a session which was question and answers from the audience to. Um, Two teams from last season, um, Team Red and Team Black from season four, were at that session, and that was yesterday also. And it was totally packed. It, they had an overflow room. Right. That's the first class that I've been to all at Roost Tech that was actually completely full, and they had a, a overflow room. I'm sure it's happened. I just wasn't in any of those classes. Right. And I was in another class at the same time, and after that class was over, I was really wishing I was at Relative Race because the class I was in really didn't pertain to me. And well, 
I guess I shouldn't say the idiot pertained to me. It, it just, just wasn't an it was just, class. It was a beginner it class. It was a beginner class. And I'm more of the technology intermediate up to advanced level. Right. And uh, so, and I was sitting in the middle of the row. I like sitting on the ends. So and, you can't get out. But I got there a uh, not late. I was there like 15, 10 to 15 minutes early, but the room was already packed of people. So I had to sit in the middle and we sat there and I couldn't get out, you know, because all these people were yeah. packed. It, it was a full, just about a full class. And, and so I was like, oh my God, I have to stay here. So I had been having problems with uh, my MacBook. Um, it wouldn't connect to the internet. And so I just tried to work on fixing that for the hour yeah. <laughs> I was in that class so I was sitting there might as well do something yeah. so um, and then the last session we went to was with um, Rick Murphy and he's talked about 1619 the first documented Africans um, landed in America in 1619 and this is the 400th year anniversary of that and that was what his um, session was about and I loved it I thought it was a great presentation he did great yeah yeah it was it was good um and there's going to be a lot more information coming out later about 1619 mm -hmm. leading up to the ox conference right. in october yeah. um, which is going to be the big celebration yeah. and commemoration if yeah if you're anywhere on the east coast you'll see it everywhere um it really will start getting up and running and, and really getting going in august um, because that is when they first started coming or whatever got here in august um so that's when you'll see a lot more of it but we're celebrating it all year so. All right, so and then we went to um the screening of um gina's, gina's journey. journey uh a story uh story about uh, a lady named regina mason mm -hmm. it was her story of her tracking down her Three, four, four, three or four times. Three or four times. Great, uh, great grandfather. And what he went through when he was enslaved and how he became free. And what and, she went through during her research to be able to tell his story. Right. And so there was a, a movie that uh, she had uh, produced. Uh, she has a book out mm -hmm. um, as well. And so the movie is based on her book. And so there was a special screening last night for that. Um, I also got a chance to go to the Family History Library. Um, it's a very convenient location because it's right down the street from the Convention Center. Um, and if you know anything about genealogy and family history, um, the Family History Library here in Salt Lake City has the largest genealogy and family history collection in America. So you can't come to a genealogy conference and not do a little bit of research so I was able to get some research done this morning which is pretty cool because they extended their hours mm -hmm. for Lucid. this week um, to help people with their their research and right. I thought that's that's yeah, pretty and it cool. came right in time because of that coach's corner that we did and I was able to go look at true the, um, Alabama marriage records and actually find that record that she suggested that I find to be able to further my research right. on that ancestor so that worked out really well um, also I was able to volunteer at um, the sons and daughters of the US Middle Passage Lineage Society I'm a member of that organization they have a booth here um, so I volunteered some of my time to be able to answer people's questions that were stopping by. And that was really, um, it was really fun and informative. And it just reminds me that I do know a lot more than I give myself credit for. Um, Cause I was able to answer a lot of variety of questions, not just about our organization, but about genealogy research and African-American research in general. So that was, I was happy about that. And while she did that, um, I kind of was working on some things to where I volunteered some time with Ox, the African American Historical and Genealogical Society. Um, I work on some of their YouTube uh, uh, videos and also their Facebook. Yeah. So I was able to get some of that work done, at yeah. least as much as I could with a MacBook that won't connect to the internet in he this made, place. He so. made it work. He, he got some stuff done. Some stuff. But there's plenty of work I got to do. So. so we did, we, it's been busy. Um, We've gotten a lot done. We've been able to learn a lot. I've been able to meet a lot of people. Have you been able to meet? Yeah, today I met more people because I was sitting more, mm -hmm. a little bit more than what I have the past two days. Yeah. 
and people were, you know, coming and sitting down at my table oh, yeah. and, okay. you know, um, striking up conversations and yeah. things like that. So, and one thing I just told Trisha before we leave, everybody around here is so nice. It's so nice. Uh, not that smiles, I didn't think they would be, but it's just, speaks. everybody's it's really just nice. really nice. So it's just been a great conference for us, especially for a first timer. And they celebrate first timers, which they is really cool. Do. So, they really do. Yeah, so it's so. been a great three days. Um, tomorrow's our last day. It's going to be a shorter day because everything closes pretty early. Last session is earlier than um, it has been. So that's about it. Yeah, so upcoming, we're going to uh, provide you guys a, a total Roots Tech recap video. Our highlights, um, our favorite, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, talk about everything that we did during the conference. Um, and then also we're going to do another video with... Uh, you know the top things you need to know um, coming to Roots Tech as a first timer. First -timer. So we're going to take our experience and share it with you, you guys, and um, and so that's going to be upcoming um, really soon. We're really excited about we uh, adding this uh, this YouTube channel as a part of the total genealogy journey, right? Yeah. And um, it's. I mean, I've enjoyed it. I hope you've watched the first video. If not, go back if and not, watch it. If not, yeah, go back and watch it. It'll it, be linked below. Yeah, we gotta stop doing that. <laughs> but, I watch too many YouTube videos. Yes, <laughs> but um, it it I got it out a little bit late because of Our my computer, yeah. that and my computer issues. But I did get it out. So um, yeah, go back and check that out. Subscribe and share. Um, share with your family, friends, and whoever else you want to. So, you ready to go? Yep, I think that's about it. All right, Thanks. love y'all. Bye.